I had great plans to go to bed early tonight. I was in bed. And then my husband texted me that he got a bear, and it was a good bear, and I needed to take some pictures. So. It's 11.30 on summer solstice. He had me turn on my suburban today, but I don't know what's here. Pause on that thing. We all do that, you'll like that. Done with this angle. So what sort of terrain do you find bears in? The forest. <laughs> That's right where this guy was in the middle of the forest. What sort of forest do we have here? Forest trees. Now when it's spread out like that, it's like oh yeah, it's huge. <laughs> do that. Put your hand in it. You scale is everything. Oh I know. The bugs are way worse where I came from. These probably all came out of the car. <laughs> you got that? Yeah, I got that. Okay, okay. All it's right. Pretty neat. So what's your plan now? Skin them, hang them. You use a tractor? Yep. <laughs> Lifting it by hand, that's the damn thing. Tomorrow we'll chop them up. Can I save like a little bit to try something like bear sticks? I always wanted to, you haven't let me know. Father's Day butchering day. Happy Father's Day, all right. Yeah. yeah. You got your camera out to video too, Mark? Yeah, I'm just gonna take pictures. Look at the size of its claws. <coughs> oh, those are the big claws you've ever seen. Hands are great too, so he should be fine with it. No? It's on a vacation. So we're going in grade three. Well, you saw away at that prayer. No. Standing on our deck here, and you can see the bear is still hanging. And um, it's a big one, it's a big bear. So they've done the front quarters, he always does the front quarters first. Now he'll probably cut it in half with his sawzall, reciprocating saw, and bring in a half at a time. Bray, what do you got there? Can you show me? Next, dad's bullet. Found the bullet. Where was the bear shot? That's where the stuff bear shot. Well, the bullet was right there. That's right. So you there. got it right in the vitals. Yeah, he bled to death from being shot in the lungs. <laughs> so he's using this. Ooh, it's called River. Your great grandmother. Oh, my great grandmother's, but the handle was all broken and no good. So Mary's made it a new handle. But we've never used it for butchering before. I've used it for fish and stuff. Once in a while. But it's working pretty dandy there. So this made the heart. Do you think it's easier than a knife? Oh uh, no. For some things it works good, for other things a knife works way better.
I need it pretty hard. Can you show me your knife for a second? You know, so, <laughs> can, can you hold it up in front of you for size reference? <laughs> this is a Victorinox knife. I got this from Halper Hides, but I bet you you can probably find it on Amazon. Because I've seen other Victorinox knives there. Five off the last one? Yes. And 20 off the last one? Yeah. I figured we were at 85. Total. This will push us way here. So Mary's is on the second rear hind leg here, the ham, so to speak. We normally just cut up the whole darn thing into getting made into sausages, pepperoni, hot dogs, that sort of thing. Because bear can be pretty strong tasting. So I asked Marius if he could keep me a chunk of the rear end here because it's the best stuff so that I can try it in some cuts. I'm not fake, girl. He's not fake, girl. And if you call her a bad girl, you're a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. Hey, Freya, Freya, that knife is a tool, not a toy. Well, he's using a toy. Oh, holy cow. He's just ripping. He's ripping. I'm cutting. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to cut off of this because you didn't really cut it up like. No, I told you, you I'm deer. chopping it up. You wanted to cut up stuff, and you should have got in here. Chunks off of it. It's a huge slab of meat.